And now I would like to open for questions. And I'm happy that if you want to ask questions to any of our um, speakers today, you can direct questions to anyone you like. Dr. Anamika is asking, should we cut out sugar and sweets or replace sugar with jaggery? Anamika, you know, sugar we know is bad and jaggery is the processed food that comes before sugar. So the fiber is removed. But if you look at most of the recipes of desserts and other recipes that require sugar on our website, you'll see that we're replacing sugar with dates and raisins which are not so addictive and they have fiber. Try that. Dr. Seema is asking, Sharon does not have restrictions on consuming onion and garlic. They are also stimulants. Don't they cause anxiety? So I don't know for sure. Here's what I thought. That like um, onion and garlic is known to be sick. That means it's known to cause the anger emotion in you. I saw a lot of people suffering from anger who were not consuming onions and garlic. So I personally didn't get convinced on stopping onion and garlic. There are times when I've stopped onion and garlic, but I didn't find a difference. But I truly believe that those people who had anger issues and things, even though they had stopped onion and garlic, when they stop animal products, then we're stopping those stress hormones, that would make a bigger difference. So I don't want to say stop onion and garlic when I personally am not doing it. I actually love onions. Mm. Dr. Uh, Shivaran Niji is asking, can autoimmune disease be reversed if a person follows a whole food plant-based diet? It's very hard to talk about autoimmune diseases because sometimes they've gone so far that they cannot be reversed. But I do believe that every single person can benefit with a plant-based diet. So when we take up a patient with autoimmune diseases, and we shouldn't go way off the topic today, but I will answer this question. If we take up a patient with autoimmune diseases, we try to assess how much better they can become in, within the first few consultations. And I have to tell you, I've seen so many autoimmune diseases getting totally reversed. I've seen others living with autoimmune disease their entire life. I personally suffered from an autoimmune disease as well. So it's really worth trying and getting results. Dr. Uma is asking, can mental illnesses like schizophrenia be reversed? Uma, I'm not sure. Here's what I've seen so far. I've seen bipolar being completely reversed. And that's something close to schizophrenia. But, you know, the cases of bipolar disease, and I've seen two of them that got reversed, were not on medications. When people are on medications, usually I've seen that their family doesn't want to get them off medications. The psychiatrist is also slow in reducing medications. And I made a mistake. I've seen more than two. Because in the last 21-day retreat, there was someone who was able to stop her medications within that 21-day retreat. I didn't help her stop it. She did it herself. And she's still off it and doing really well. So I have to say I've seen three of them. Now, schizophrenia is a little dif more difficult because it's harder to help you know, make sure that the patient actually follows the lifestyle. So it, and it takes some time. So I don't want to give any commitment, but I'm sure that people can improve, right? Like long ago, I didn't think that a frank case could, of depression can improve, but Neil Nedley's retreats of 11 and 12 days, I think that's pretty amazing. Dr. Venkatesh is asking, can we stop salt completely? Uh, Venkatesh, there are lots of doctors who recommend complete stoppage of salt. I personally don't, but salt is not something that we should have in excess and salt is definitely addictive. So we should minimize our salt intake. The reason I don't think that you should stop salt completely is that I've seen people with low sodium levels as well as 
I've seen that animals go to salt lakes. Like, for example, I saw in Africa that animals would go to a place where they could lick salt. And I saw in on farms. And I did an internship at Farm Sanctuary. And they left salt in, in the place where the animals were eating so that once in a while the animals could go and lick salt because they need salt. So I don't think that we should be completely salt free, but we shouldn't have excess of salt. Doctor, this is kind of not related, but I'd like to still ask you. My uh, Rohit is saying my father is an advanced stage lung cancer patient. He's 72 and fully mobile and active. How can Sharon help us? I think this has to be done with a consultation because all the factors have to be assessed, but we can surely help. And even if you don't take a consultation, but start a whole food plant-based diet, now you may see changes because whole food plant-based diet is a diet that we were meant to eat. That means every animal can eat its food raw and is, that food is attractive in nature. For us, fruits and vegetables is what we can eat raw. And so if we eat more fruits and vegetables and more whole food, plant-based, and Sharon also recommends organic because chemicals are harmful. If we do more of this, we will get results. And of course, chemicals are carcinogens as well. Dr. Yamini is saying, during my first pregnancy, I used blood thinners. And now in my second pregnancy, despite following a vegan diet, doctor is still recommending to take thinners. I know, Yamini, and you know, doctors recommend a lot of medications that aren't always required. But we have a team of doctors on our panel on consultations, and we also have a cardiologist, a clinical cardiologist. So if you believe that you could be free of medication, please don't hesitate to take a consultation with one of our doctors. We can help you. Dr. Preeti Singh, can consumption of steroids at 16 years for autoimmune be reversed with a fruit-based diet? Madhura, would you like to answer that one? Okay, so in an autoimmune, because I was on steroids for a very long time and I follow a very high fruit and high raw diet right now, so I'm not taking any steroids anymore. And uh, in my, I didn't suffer from an autoimmune, but in my consultations or patients, or even in my own case, I have seen that you can lead a very quality life. You know, there's no, uh, if you follow the food based diet or a high raw diet, because you're getting the best nutrients which are not processed or not, uh, you know, you're not manipulating the nutrients a lot because in cooking, you lose a lot of nutrition. So when you're doing a food-based diet, you're keeping your body in the best environment. You're taking the nutrients that are in the best form available from nature. So you definitely see that the quality of life is better. And yeah, the usage of steroids can go down under the guidance of a doctor. It can. It's possible. Okay. And, uh, you know, Madhura, the, I think the, the patient was asking about... Um, like the person has been on steroids for 16 years and will a fruit-based diet help? And I think you yes. were also on steroids for a very long time. Very long time. And uh, you have managed to get back to health and now that the steroids are off, right? Doctor, um, are there any cases of ADHD reversals? I would say absolutely yes. So... Um, I think that ADHD is caused sometimes by drugs and vaccinations, and it can be helped by a whole food plant-based diet. It is definitely worth trying. Dr. Priya Singh, how to help someone with OCD who's already following a clean vegan diet with some amount of oil and jaggery in the diet? So I, it would be very hard to do it just here, but... I'm sure that these kind of things take a little time. And also, if someone's on OCD and is following a vegan diet, they may be on medications as well. So we'd have to step-by-step step clean up their diet, reduce medications. And this is best done with the help of a Sharon consultant along with the psychiatrist 
Uh, there are no medications. Okay, then I'm sure that, you know, if it doesn't happen today, it will happen over a period of time and may require some counseling as well. Dr. Venkatesh is saying, will vitamin B12 and D be improved by plant-based diet and fruits? No, vitamin B12 and D in almost anyone, no matter what uh, dietary preference they have, may be low and needs to be supplemented. Dr. Manish is asking, do we have any doctors in Pune, Sharan doctor? Manish, uh, our consultations are done online on Zoom. And though we don't have doctors in Pune, we do have our short retreats in Pune that you can experience um, a Sharan lifestyle from. But uh, uh, you can do the consultation from anywhere in the world. We, but we don't have someone in Pune right now. As Dr. yet. Kokila, saying, Kokila Priya is saying, my mom has diabetes recently. The doctor suggested she take insulin. Shall we start plant-based diet and take insulin as well? Can't tell right now without seeing all your reports how high is the uh, diabetes and why you have been put on insulin. So we need to, um, this this cannot be done on screen. It needs to be done with a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Dr. Priya is asking, are there any Sharan psychiatrists we can con uh, consult with? No, we don't have a psychiatrist, but we do have psychologists or counselors. Okay. Uh, Kiran is asking, how to increase calcium intake for osteopenia without supplements? Um, is there some reason that you don't want to take any supplements? So definitely you don't need to take calcium supplements because there's no known dietary deficiency of calcium in the world. But you may need to take vitamin D supplements for osteopenia. Um, okay, then we, we have like Preeti asking, do we have any consultation center, retreat center in Mumbai? You know, Preeti, it's not good to have a retreat center in Mumbai if you live in Mumbai. Because a retreat means you've got to get out of there. We have one very close in Pune. And um, as I said, most of our consultations are done uh, online. But we do have consultants in Mumbai. And maybe you can be put in touch with them for face-to-face for -face consultations. Sheena is asking, are vitamin D supplements vegan? You can get both vegan and non-vegan vitamin D supplements. Okay, doctor. I just want to say it is health that is our real wealth and not pieces of silver and gold. And from all of us at Team Sharon, we wish you and your loved ones good health always. Thank you. Thank you, doctor, for this wonderful talk. And I'm sure many people... Uh, will get a head start on at least physically doing what we can do in, in, to start with to reduce our stress, anxiety and depression. And of course, then there are the other things that we need to do. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.